Hello everyone, what is the correct answer to the following expression? A dividing by 2 and in parentheses 3 minus 5. Okay, right now we have a lot of option A, B, C, so I suggest you to choose one option, what do you think is correct, and I swear you will be shocked in the end of the video about the answer and about this approach, how can we solve it. Okay, the expression can be simplified by the order of operations, often remembered by the acronyms PMDMC or BODMAS order. So these orders right here, we have BODMAS, we have PMDMC order, and of course, I want to start with a really interesting moment. So the expression can be simplified by these methods, and first we need to evaluate parentheses and brackets and then evaluate exponents and orders, then multiplication, division and division multiplication in both methods, and finally evaluate addition and subtraction. And one, I want to mention one really interesting step right here, because everyone, BODMAS and PMDMC order, is in agreement about the first step. So simplify the, the subtraction inside the parentheses. So we don't do a mistake when we do this thing in our parentheses. So let's start with parentheses. First step, brackets and parentheses. We have parentheses, so let's start with this. So we will have like 8 dividing by 2 and in parentheses 3 minus 2, which is equal to 3 minus 5, sorry, which is equal to minus 2. Yeah? So we do this first step. But this is where the debate starts. Because, for example, take a look closely. For example, if you type this expression in our calculator, the input has to be parsed and then computed. So most calculators will, will convert the parentheses into an implied multiplication. So we get this expression, and according to the order of operation, division and multiplication have the same precedence. So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right. Yeah? And first take 8 dividing by 2, we will have like 4 and then multiplied by minus 2. So multiplied by minus 2, which is equal to like minus 8. So with this first approach, our answer is option, option C. It looks like that, our answer is option C. But I want to show you a really good second method. So some people have a different interpretation. And while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may have learned this other interpretation more recently too. But this is not the way calculators would evaluate the expression today. So if we have this expression, I write it right here, so this is our first method. And the second method, I write it right here, the same expression. So 8 dividing by 2 and times minus 2. Okay, suppose it was like 1917 year, so I write it right here, 1917 year, and, and you saw this expression in a textbook. What do you think about the author was, was trying to, to write? Historically, the symbol divide was used to mean you should divide by the entire product on the right of the symbol. So, if you, if you live like in 1917, you, will, you would multiply this as like that. So we will have like 8 dividing by the entire product. So you, do, you take it in parentheses, so 2 times minus 2. So it was 100 years ago. And from this stage, the rest of the calculation works by the order of operation. So first evaluate the multiplication in parentheses right here. We will have like minus 4, yeah? So we will have like 8 dividing by, by minus 4 right here. We will have minus 2, because this is simple division. And we have this option. This is option A. But as I said before, as I said before, this is not correct answer. So nowadays calculators it not works like that. So this is not the correct answer that calculators will evaluate. Rather, it, it's what someone might have interpreted the expression according to older usage, yeah? So 100 years ago, people do like that. Nowadays, calculators do like that. So our answer is minus eight, I write it right here, but 100 years ago, we will have like oh, minus eight, option C, this is minus eight. We, we learned about BODMAS and PMDMC order right here, and I hope you enjoy and understand this explanation. So 100 years ago, the answer was minus 2. Nowadays, the answer is minus 8. And if you do evaluate this expression in calculator, you will have the same answer, minus 8. But if you have really interesting story about this, 
viral problems, you can easily write it in a comment. I will read it and it will be really interesting to to read about your, your suggestion to this problem and I hope you, you understand and you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day!